Now to a developing story happening in Dallas where a woman is shot and wounded by police after she allegedly opened fire inside an airport. CBS 2's Alice Gaynor here now with the latest. Alice. Maurice and Christine, officials in Texas say that 37-year-old woman fired several gunshots apparently at the ceiling inside Dallas Love Field Airport. Those are alarms going off inside that airport. Some people were hiding and taking cover. Police said the woman was dropped off at the airport around 11 a.m., walked inside near the ticketing counters, then entered a bathroom. They say she came out wearing a hooded sweatshirt or other clothing she hadn't arrived in, pulled a gun, and fired several shots. At this point, we don't know where exactly the individual was aiming. For the most that we're seeing now, she was aiming uh, at the ceiling, at, but there was a uh, Several rounds that are found simultaneously as she's doing that, our officer engages the suspect, strikes her in the lower extremities. She's taken into custody and is currently at Parkland Hospital. No other individuals were injured in this event other than the suspect. She just basically had a hood and she pulled the gun from underneath the hood, fired the first shot up. To get on the plane. Oh, in the terminal, yeah. In the terminal, yes. And, and the people uh, just started running like crazy. Police have not yet released the woman's name. Airport operations had been suspended, but have since resumed. Dallas police identified the woman. They say fired several shots inside the Dallas Love Field terminal before officers shot and wounded her. No one else was injured. The woman, 37-year-old Portia Odufua, is hospitalized in police custody, but her condition has not been released. She's seen here in a previous mugshot after a 2019 arrest for bank robbery. Police have not yet revealed a motive. Fox 4's Alex Foyer there with the very latest on the shooting investigation. Alex. Yeah, and as you guys just mentioned, uh, she is someone who is known to local law enforcement. She does have a criminal history. Now, a witness who I spoke to who encountered her right here uh, near this ticket counter says that she actually thought that the woman was an employee making an announcement until the woman opened fire. Shaky cell phone video captured part of the chaos inside Dallas Love Field Monday. Dallas police say just before 11 a.m., 37-year-old Portia Odafua was dropped off at the airport. Witnesses say Odafua, seen here in a mugshot from a 2019 bank robbery arrest in Wiley, walked into the airport, went to the bathroom, changed clothes, and then opened fire with a handgun near the Southwest Airlines ticket counter. At this point, we don't know where exactly the individual was aiming. For the most that we're seeing now, she was aiming uh, at the ceiling. That our officer engages the suspect, strikes her in the lower extremities. She's taken into custody and is currently at Parkland Hospital. This cell phone video taken by another witness shows Odofua being treated by first responders moments after being shot. Ashley Wyckoff says she was standing just feet away from the shooter when it happened. And a woman came and she's making an announcement, like saying like somebody failed her husband or something. And it's like, I'm about to blow this place up. And all of a sudden she brandished a gun, started pop, pop in the air. All I can do is run. I'm thinking that I'm not running fast enough because I'm still hearing shots and I'm like, I'm not getting out of here. I'm not getting out of here. I'm going to die up in here. Wyckoff's friend, who had just gotten out of an Uber, was walking inside the front doors as Wyckoff and other passengers began running out. And all we heard was a shot and we smelled gun smoke. So we hurry up and ran through the door and just ran across. We almost got hit by several cars. Dallas police and airport officials immediately ordered an evacuation. The airport went into a ground stop that would last for hours. Cell phone video taken by another traveler showed rattled passengers outside huddled near a wall. For others, like Trinice Bailey, who were trapped inside, they were forced to shelter in place. They all pushed us towards the back and told everybody to go into the luggage area. And everybody was scared. Some people were crying. It was a variety of children. The shooter was taken to the hospital. Thankfully, no one else was hurt. My life flashed before me. That's all I can think of. My children, my husband. 
And as we come back out here live, you'll notice a black partition there in the distance. Beyond that partition is where the crime scene is. FBI is here assisting DPD with their investigation. We actually uh, saw them looking for bullets in the ceiling, which is where a lot of those uh, shots ended up. Now, airport operations have resumed to so-called normal at this point, but the TSA is recommending that you check with your airline before coming down here because as a result of the shooting and evacuation, understandably, many flights have been delayed and canceled. It looks like routine at Dallas Love Field Airport. An Uber driver in the red car drops off Portia Odufua. Several surveillance cameras show her every move. The 37-year-old woman walks in the airport straight to the bathroom. Five minutes later, she comes out with her hood over her head, going to the Southwest ticket counter. Witnesses say Odufua started, started to ramble, talking about a marriage, incarceration, and that she was going to blow up the airport and then pulls a handgun from her sweatshirt. In a lobby full of people, Odafua puts her gun toward the ceiling. Dallas police say she fired multiple rounds. People scatter, run, and duck, crawling for cover. Dallas police officer Ronald Cronin was already approaching her before she pulled out the gun. Police say she shot toward him and a bystander, but within seconds, he found cover and fired back, shooting the suspect several times. It happened so incredibly quickly. The video shows Odafua falling to the ground. Officer Cronin calls for backup and gets passengers behind him to safety. I know his actions saved lives and permitted more injuries. From his body camera, officers are seen putting the suspect in handcuffs. Are you with me? Can you hear me? Sorry, I got evidence coming, okay? What is your name? Police say Odafua was taken to the hospital where she had surgery and is stable. As for the gun she had. She was prohibited and and got a firearm from somebody. DPD and the FBI are both investigating, understanding her criminal history, which includes a bank robbery and arson. They say Officer Cronin's actions saved lives that day. If it was appropriate, I would have given that officer a medal right here in front of you all today. I'm sure that time will come. In Dallas, I'm Tiffany Liu.